hello everyone so welcome to our channel and in this video we are going to show you how to write the program reverse a string in java this is a frequently asked java programming related question that you will get in an interview if you are going for test automation interviews if you are going for if you are switching from manual to automation if you have written selenium with java kind of ro roles and responsibilities in your resume then definitely this java programming interview question will be asked to you so in this video series of rd technical learning channel we will be covering various java programming interview questions that would be asked to you and you would be asked to write those programs in an interview and explain the flow right explain the logic also so now let us start first with the logic and then we will also see the program in detail right so they will ask you to take any string right any string that you are comfortable with with maybe testing automation your name any particular string they might give right whenever this question is asked to you the question is reverse a particular string in java right so write a program write a java program to reverse a string right whenever this question is asked to you you should keep in mind two things what are the two things that would be important to you to accomplish to write this program one is the length right how many total number of characters are there in the string that length is very important okay and next is character at now what is character at this is also a function so these two functions would be helpful to you these two methods would be helpful to you character at you can determine what character of the string is present at that particular index value okay for example if we take the uh, string as automation okay this is entire a string now it will always start from zero okay so this is actually the programming logic that you should keep in your mind it is always 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 as such automation has how many characters 10 characters but the first character will always start from 0 okay the moment you will write one here the interviewer will come to know okay he or she is not having that knowledge and see interviewer it depends on him or her they might ask you to first write the program then you can write the program as per your understanding but if they ask you what will be your approach for writing this program then you have to explain them okay while explaining them you can keep these points in your mind and you can explain them so that is the thought process clarity that you need to have during the time of interview okay these three things one is the string okay how many characters are there how and what is the length of the string right and at which character which particular index the character is present for example if i write character at here three okay then it will return value o if i write character at four it will return value as m okay so these are small small wins that you need to accomplish in an interview and then you will be able to crack your interview okay now let's look into the logic okay now what we will do is we'll write the logic for the same so we'll write the let's take any character okay sorry any string sorry any string okay so now let's take this string variable s equal to let's take this string only automation okay now if any one of you is already aware of the program i am sure that many of you would be aware so before my completion pause this video and try to write this program in the comment section of the video right this is one of the approach there are many other approaches that we will be covering in the upcoming videos but you can cover any one of the approach from which you should get the output reverse that is ulta output right automation so reverse will be n o i t a m o t u a right that's how would be the output that how that's how it should be the output now what next is we are doing we are defining one length name of variable with integer as the data type right 
we need to know the length of the string, right? So what I'll do is, what is the string and this length function will use. So it will return what is the length, right? We know that we have to use for loop because we will have to traverse each and every character present in the string. But to what number of times the loop should run that you will come to know from length function, okay? So we defined integer length equal to s dot length, okay? Now let's define one string which is equal to null. This will be our output. After reversing the string, we need to assign that value to some particular new variable, right? So this will be accomplished via this particular variable string variable rev reverse. Okay, so this is done. Now let's go to the next step. Now, key thing, what you have to do is you have to use for loop. So whenever for loop comes to you, so you know, for loop is always something like i equal to, you will have some uh, number, then i greater than or less than equal to, right? So that also we will define and whether it will be i plus plus or i minus minus. So three different conditions we need to come here with, right? And then within the for loop, we'll have our own logic. Okay, now, what you have to do is you have to reverse the string in Java. That means you have to start from the last. Okay. So when I say you have to start from last, that means if the total number of characters in a string are nine, so you will be starting from nine because you have to start from N for this particular example I'm taking, right? You have to start from N. That is you have to start from the last. So what we will do is we'll start from the nine but again see whenever we write programs we have to make sure that this logic should work for any of the string that might be given to you in an interview right for example you might get the output for automation but then your string changes to testing the length of the string changes right so what would happen is you will have to Make sure that it works for that as well, right? So let's keep it on a generic level only, right? So now what we will do is we'll define whatever the i is there, length minus one, right? That is whatever the length is there, we have to start from one minus to that, right? And then the second condition is i should be greater than or equal to zero. Why zero? Because we don't want to go beyond zero. It should be equal to zero. That is a will come. The first character will come or greater than or equal to zero. So all these characters will be covered one by one in that loop, right? And i minus minus because we want to use, we are using decrement operator because we want to use from backward side, we have to decrease one by one, right? And then what we will do is, so this is the logic for loop, right? And then here we'll write the river, the reverse variable that we have used, right? String reverse, reverse equal to reverse, right? Whatever the value that is coming in this plus, why we are using plus? for concatenating. So I'll explain you that as well, right? We have to concatenate. We have to make sure entire string comes in the reverse, right? So we will be concatenating every time with the s dot character at i. What is s? The string variable that and character at i. So whatever character it will traverse, it will start from n o i t a m o t e u. So whatever it will traverse that we need to have. So that's why we have written reverse equal to reverse plus s dot character at i. And finally, we will be printing the output system dot out dot printer. And right. So this will be the logic. Right. Now let's write this program in Eclipse. So let me copy from here only and let me put here there. Right, so entire program we have written here, right? String is automation. And now let me run this program. 
just edit this one line right system dot out dot print ln the entire program remains the same you can see it is reversed okay now sometimes you might get automation is this entire string okay then again this program will run got it and let's change the string to test got it so this is pretty simple program right easy to write easy to understand easy to explain as well got it now if still you are having confusion right then again you can go through this program and you can write in the comment section of the video also if you feel any other approach we should we should try because see what i did is i explained you the the logic that was required then we built the logic right on the runtime and then we copied pasted over here in this id if again i will write the program it is fine for me i can write but then your time will go so i have copied the same logic that we had written there to here right and i have just added that package class name and system dot out dot print talent so that your time gets saved and you are able to see those things real time once you are able to understand forget about this program you understood the logic no need to learn these kind of programs build the logic by yourself during the interviews make sure you practice it before the interviews and when you have interviews then build these kind of programs in the interviews right so that will be helpful for you right so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any improvements if you need feel that we should be improving at some particular stage then please uh, put in the comment section of the video we'll try our best to make sure that whatever the videos whatever the, whatever the content we create those are helpful for the people who are looking for jobs there right so these kind of java programming interview questions will be definitely asked to you in an interview be prepared and wish you all the best for your career ahead thank you